On the eve of the Second World War, some 40,000 Jews lived in Kaunas, Kovno, the temporary capital of independent Lithuania. They constituted about a quarter of the city's population. Kovno was known at the time as a spiritual and cultural center for Eastern European Jewry, and the local Jewish community in the city thrived. Synagogues were established, Jewish schools and a Jewish hospital were created, and there were institutions for higher Jewish learning and yeshivas, including the Slobodka Yeshiva. In addition, Jewish newspapers in Yiddish and Hebrew were published in the city, and Zionist organizations flourished in it. On June 15, 1940, the Soviet Union invaded and subsequently annexed Lithuania. The Soviet authorities immediately seized all assets owned by Jews, closed Jewish institutions, and shut down most of the cultural and social organizations. Thousands of Lithuanians and hundreds of Jews were deported to Siberia, where most of them perished. On June 24, 1941, two days after the German invasion of the Soviet Union as part of Operation Barbarossa, the Germans occupied Kaunas. Wehrmacht forces entered the city, and a few days later, they were joined by one of the SS mobile killing units, Einsatzgruppe A. Many Lithuanians welcomed the Germans, whom they saw as liberators from the oppressive Soviet regime, and hoped to regain their independence. Hundreds of Jews fled inland to the Soviet Union, sped on by the fact that even before the Germans entered the city, anti-Soviet Lithuanian nationalist groups had begun to murder the local Jews, whom they accused of collaboration with the Soviet authorities. These murders continued after the German forces entered the city, and were carried out under their direction. Between June 22nd and July 6th, some 1,000 Jews were murdered in the streets of Slobodka, a Kovno suburb where many Jews lived. 6,000 Jews arrested in other parts of the city were transferred to the 7th Fort, part of the Kaunas Fortress, where they were murdered. On July 11, 1941, a decree was issued ordering all the Jews in the city and its suburbs to move to a ghetto established in Slobodka. Some 30,000 Jews were crowded into an area that had previously held only some 8,000 people. On August 15, the ghetto was sealed and Lithuanian guards were set around its perimeter. The ghetto, which had been divided into the small ghetto and the large ghetto, was run down and lacked infrastructure. The buildings on site were small, derelict wooden shacks. The Kovno Ghetto Judenrat, the Eltestenrat, Council of Elders, was responsible for the Jewish police and essential services such as health, housing, and religious life. Some of the ghetto inhabitants were sent to forced labor in outlying sites, and the Eltestenrat established workshops for those who could not leave the ghetto. Later, they also supplied educational services, and after these were banned, they continued them clandestinely. In addition, they organized concerts, lectures, and literary soirees established an underground archive for the documentation of everyday life, and even assisted members of the underground who were active in the ghetto and who had joined the partisans in the forests. A series of roundups, Aktionin, began immediately after the Jews relocated to the ghetto. During one of the roundups, the small ghetto was liquidated, and most of its inhabitants, some 1,600 Jews, were murdered. During another roundup, called the Great Aktion, which took place on October 28, 1941, more than 9,000 Jews were sent from the ghetto to the Ninth Fort in the Kaunas Fortress, where they were murdered. Around 17,000 Jews remained in the ghetto. Adults were made to perform forced labor, primarily in military facilities outside the ghetto. In return for their work, they received extremely meager portions of food. In order to supplement their daily needs, the ghetto residents sold their remaining belongings and smuggled food into the ghetto, risking their lives. In February 1942, the Jews were ordered to hand over to the authorities all their books, printed material, and manuscripts. The synagogues and schools were later forcibly closed down. Hundreds of Jews were transferred to the Riga ghetto and to forced labor camps in Lithuania. Beginning in summer 1943, most of the ghetto's inhabitants were transferred to other camps, and in accordance with Heinrich Himmler's orders, the ghetto became a concentration camp. In March 1944, a large roundup, known as the Children's Aktion, took place, during which some 1,800 children and elderly people were murdered, as well as many members of the Jewish police, who were accused of aiding the ghetto underground. At this point, the Jewish underground began sending people into neighboring forests to join the partisan forces, and some 300 children were smuggled out of the ghetto and hidden. In July 1944, with the Red Army approaching, some 10,000 Jews remained in the Kovno ghetto, 
the German authorities began transferring the remaining Jews to the Dachau and Stutthof concentration camps in Germany. Some of them hid in underground hiding places that had been prepared in advance, and others died during the German attempts to round them up. The Red Army liberated Kaunas on August 1, 1944. Of the 40,000 Jews living in the city on the eve of the war, only some 3,000 survived. 